I'm gonna show you a working that I'm doing today. It's Saturday, as you know, guys, I believe as above, so below. So Saturn, this big, huge planet with the, all this powerful energy, um, the father, the discipline, the structure. Um, if you operate there, uh, different elements, and even in Saturn energy, air, fire, earth, and water. Um, but we, we wanna talk about the power of three or the trinity of how to do a particular working or a particular spell um, that in, in this in case I'm using it as a protection on um, working but this is um, something that I want to share with you guys um, Ecclesiastes 4 and 12 it says and if one prevail against him two shall withstand and a third fold is not easily broken when you do spell work and you're doing your craft um, it is good to implement more than one um, element more than one spirit more than one Orisha um, ancestor, if you have that availability, even when it comes to herbs, it does. It says that a threefold working is not easily broken. Um, when I do certain protection works, I put um, I have a, the uh, power of three aspect that I place with my workings, um, and we are going to be dealing with um, Saturn energy. And one of the things that I want you guys to uh, see here, I have um, the sigil as well um, that we will be working with as well. And this will be, the candle will be set upon this. And um, one of the things, um, black is for protection. Black is power. Black is the universe. I want to harness today's power to do a protection work. Um, I'm going to actually do two candles today, but do a very powerful protection work um, for myself and um, one of the um, one of the things that I want to show you guys, um, and I taught this about, um, I'm going to use sea salt, I'm going to use sulfur, and I'm going to use um, mercury. And the um, sea salt is ruled by the planet Moon, the Moon planet. And this particular energy we're going to utilize, and then we're going to use sulfur. And those that know of Saturn, um, Saturn energy as well. Um, and then we have mercury and this is liquid mercury that i have and one of the things i want to share with you guys so when we talk about sulfur we're talking about trinity right sulfur um embodies the soul the emotions and the desires the salt represents the body and then we have mercury that is is the spirit the imagination the moral judgment as well as the higher mental faculties also guys remember salt represents stability um, sulfur represents combustibility and mercury rep represents liquidity. And so when you think about these aspects, then you have salt representing the earth element. Then you have sulfur representing the fire element. And then you have mercury, which represents the uh, water element. So here is this Trinity work. So we're going to start this. And yes, I'm going to do some invocation work or over this candle other than just placing this. But if those that know that how I work, I always consecrate my stuff. So I want as much energy and much power into these workings as possible. This particular one is going to be utilized um, for a working to uh, for protection. So I'm going to place some of this sea salt inside of the candle hole. Let me actually show you all because I like to really make big holes because I like to get um, stuff inside of my hole. So. I'm placing some of this uh, sea salt inside of this particular candle. And so it gets down in there as you see. I don't know if you can see it up in there like that. And then I'm going to use sulfur. Now, sulfur is a very pungent uh, odor. So be careful with um, sulfur. Don't use a lot. It's combustible. Okay, remember that it's combustible. So, and, and I want to also say that when you use sulfur or you use um, things that um, are combustible, remember that you're dealing with fire. So make sure you put them in a fire uh, safe area while you're doing these particular type of workings, and make sure that you actually get in there so it's not actually burning unnecessarily as you go on in doing the work. Okay, and then we're going to use um, and always clean up behind um, each time you use your spoon i use these type of metal spoons and I, I wash and cleanse them out after i use them and then liquid mercury now remember the whole concept is that this will not be easily broken right and then after those threefold now normally i have what i call this is my own personal mixture 
um, of dragon power because I told you guys I'm utilizing this in a for, um, protection working. And when you think and understand the H element and the representation of each one of those elements, so you have uh, the moon represented here, you have Saturn represented here, and then you have Mercury represented here. Not easily broken. Each one of those planets carry a, a tremendous amount of power and effectiveness in form of protection. So I'm a Sagittarian, so I'm extra. Um, if you um, want this particular type of working done, you would have to um, actually email me and ask for me for this particular video. And then, let me put this over here because I have to do another one. Remember, we're utilizing the sea salt, which is the body, the earth element, placing that inside of the candle. Okay, clean that out. And then we're placing sulfur, representing representation of today, because I'm doing this candle for myself and one for somebody else. So we're placing some sulfur in there as well. Remember, it's combustible. It gives a lot of kickback when if somebody's doing negative work against you or somebody's doing ill ill intention, this gonna get all of that. And then we're gonna place um, liquid mercury inside of this as well. You don't have to use a lot. Don't take a lot. Mercury is a fast moving planet, quick manifestation, but also it is a toxic energy. So it has a lot of destructive qualities um, in order to protect you. And then we're going to also, once again, add this dragon powder into here. Yes, I like this work. All right, this is a power of three trinity type of working. Um, similar to the effect of the um, my triple threat candle, but this, this particular candle right here, this is about protection. This is about bringing in um, three aspects of um, the trinity. We said we're gonna do, we're dealing with the sea salt, we're dealing with sulfur, and we're also dealing with mercury. Okay, now there are certain conjuring or certain invocations of spirits, ancestors that'll be applied to this particular candle. But this is the basis. If you're gonna do um, the power of three um, with that mindset of Ecclesiastes four and twelve, understand that it, these type of workings, especially prepare, prepared by a professional are not going to be easily broken. So I don't want my protection uh, work to be easily broken. And so therefore, I am setting this candle up on Saturday. Um, Cassiel is the ruling archangel. And I'm going to place this seal on here. And I'm going to carry out the ceremony um, that a personal prayer that I'm going to place over this particular candle. But this is the type of workings or the type of mindset or type of creativity that you need to have. And remember, you have to believe in your trinity. You have to believe in the power of three. You have to understand the number of three and what that represents, okay? So I hope this helped. I hope this was um, informative. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless, guys.